Hello fellow CNC nuts and welcome. In this episode we're going to be installing software on the Maso G3 CNC controller. I've already connected up the DC power supply, keyboard, monitor and mouse. And with that, let's jump into it. When you start Maso for the first time you'll see a screen just like this one here. Maso doesn't come with the main software already installed. Once you've received your software file, you need to install it on your flash drive. Please choose a named brand flash drive, something like this one's a Kingston, uh, SanDisk, Lexa, anything of that nature. Please try and avoid the no named brands, they can give problems. You need to format the flash drive as FAT32 is no other file format will work with Maso. Right, once you've done that, you then need to create a folder on the flash drive called Maso and into that folder put the new file that you've been sent. Now we're ready to boot Maso into the software upload screen. To do that we're going to repower Maso and at the same time we're going to immediately start pressing the F1 key here. That brings us to the screen here. It's currently saying USB flash drive not connected. I'm going to plug in this flash drive here. This one's actually formatted to FAT32. And this port here connects back to the USB port on Maso. Well that's now brought up a message on the screen that says no Maso software files on USB flash drives. So Maso can see my USB flash drive, but it can't find the files to install. That's because there's no folder on this flash drive called Maso. Let's give this one a try. Now when I plug this one in, I'm going to get a different message. USB flash drive is not FAT32 formatted. And that's correct. This is formatted with NTFS, but I've also tested it with XFAT as well, and it can't read that either. You have to have a flash drive that is formatted with FAT32, which is what this one is. It must have a folder called Maso, which this has, and that's where we put our file. So let's plug it in and see what happens. Now this one's looking a lot better. This time it's brought up the name of the file that I put into that Maso folder. In my case it's 3G-6182 which is my Maso serial number and then it's MIL 5-axis software shows me the version number, tells me it's got touchscreen and Wi-Fi. I can keep more than one software version on my flash drive. I can keep different versions as well as different types of software so I can keep MIL, Plasma, Lathe and different versions of those as well on the flash drive if I like. And if there's more than one to select from I can use the up and down arrows on the keyboard to select which one I want to load. Once I've made my selection all I have to do is hit my enter key and it will install the software. At the completion of the software update, it says software update successful, press escape to continue. And that is literally how simple it is, it couldn't really get much easier. I mean it's even talking you through your USB flash drive issues. And of course now that you know how to install that software, you also know how to update your software and change software maybe from lathe to mill, mill to plasma. It's all exactly the same process, simply restart Maso, keep pressing the F1 button until such time as that software update screen comes up. Select the software you want, hit the enter key, it's done. Within 60 seconds you could then be running a new updated or different version of software on your Maso. 
And that's where I'm going to leave it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it, maybe learned something new. All that remains for me to do is to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Cheers.